everyone, this is Mrs. Corna. Today I'm going to share with you a story called, I'll Love You Till the Cows Come Home. This might be a great one to read with your stuffed animals, maybe right about at bedtime. I'll Love You Till the Cows Come Home by Catherine Cristaldi. I will love you till the cows come home. From a trip to Mars through skies unknown in a rocket ship made of glass and stone, I will love you till the cows come home. I will love you till the yaks come back from a jaunt downtown for a grassy snack in a fire truck. Or a Cadillac. I will love you till the yaks come back. I will love you till the sheep set sail on a cruise ship bound for the Isle of Kale past manatees and a humpback whale. I will love you till the sheep set sail. I will love you till the wolves return from a bumpy ride over rocks and fern, the pigs all shouting with concern. I will love you till the wolves return. I will love you till the frogs ride past on big wheeled bikes going super fast. In a circus for seahorses, shrimp and bass, I will love you till the frogs ride past. I will love you till the deer dance by from a tap contest under the blue sky with a prize of clover and twig pot pie. I will love you till the deer dance by. I will love you till the geese flap down to a warm ski lodge in a snowy town with gourmet s'mores all chocolatey brown. I will love you till the geese flap down. I will love you till the ants march in, wearing tiny ant hats and tiny ant grins and birthday cake crumbs on their tiny ant chins. I will love you till the ants march in. I'll love you till then and again and again, till my love makes a bed for the cows in their pen and the yaks and the sheep and the wolves settle in. And the frogs softly strum on their frog violins and the deer and the geese and the ants close their eyes as the moon sprinkles moon dust all over the skies. I will love you till the cows come home. Come home. I will love you till the cows come home. Here are the ingredients you'll need to make teddy bear cookies. You'll need sugar, butter, flour, cinnamon, eggs. You'll also need mini chocolate chips and little cinnamon candies. If you would like to try making polar bears, you'll need some powdered sugar for sprinkling on top. Or if you'd like to make black bears, you'll need some unsweetened cocoa powder. Here are the tools you'll need for making teddy bear cookies. You'll need a mixing bowl, a measuring teaspoon, a measuring cup, and a scraper. You'll also need an electric mixer. Now, if you're making polar bears or black bears, you'll need a sifter for sifting some powdered sugar or cocoa powder on your cookies. You'll also need parchment paper to line your cookie sheets. In a bowl, combine one cup of butter. That's two sticks of butter. one cup of sugar, 
and cream together with your electric mixer. Add one egg and mix. Add two and a fourth cups of flour. And add one teaspoon of cinnamon. And mix. To make our bears, the first thing we're going to do is divide our dough into two parts. We'll take one part and roll it into a long snake. We want the snake to be about one inch across. We're going to take the rest of the dough and divide it into three even parts. And we're going to use these parts to make smaller snakes. This snake should be about a fourth of an inch, maybe a little bit more. Now we'll take a knife and cut the snake into smaller pieces. size snake into inch long pieces. Now to make a teddy bear, we'll roll one of the larger balls from the one inch snake and we'll roll three sections from the little snake. We're going to roll those pieces in cinnamon and sugar I put about a half of a cup of sugar and about oh, three-fourths of a teaspoon of cinnamon in the bowl. So we're gonna roll those pieces and they'll be ready to put together to make a brown bear. To assemble the brown bear, put the large ball of dough on and put two of the smaller balls right next to it and then put the third ball of dough on top. That'll be the nose. To make a polar bear or to make a black bear, you're going to do the same thing. Roll the dough, but this time we're not going to roll it in the cinnamon and sugar mixture. We'll place those together. When you remove your bears from the oven, slide them off of the tray onto a cooling rack. Now the bears that were rolled in cinnamon, you'll just immediately put in two chocolate chips for eyes and one cinnamon candy for a nose. Just push it right into the warm cookie. This guy's nose is a little sideways. Looks like he's looking off into the distance. To make black bears, you're gonna put a little cocoa powder in a sifter and sift them over the bears that you wanna be chocolatey brown. Then you're gonna add the eyes just like you did with the others. And you'll add the cinnamon red nose. To make the polar bears, put powdered sugar in a sifter and sift it over the bears. 
and then you'll stick in the chocolate chips for eyes. And the cinnamon noses. So now we have a polar bear and a black bear and a brown bear. Hi everyone, this is Mr. Nugent coming to you from one of my favorite places at Central Denison, the library. It's one of my favorite places because you got all these wonderful books in here and one of my favorite things to do is to read. And I know Mrs. Corner just got done reading you the book called I Will Love You Till the Cows Come Home. If you like that book, you're going to love some of the one, the one I'm going to suggest here, a library book from for Bear. As you can see, my friends are here with me. Uh, we're going to read this story. Um, love this one and then I know Mrs. Corner showed you one of my favorite aspects of watching her videos is how to make bear cookies. So enjoy reading books like about teddy bears and bears for bedtime stories uh, like, a, uh, like a library book for bear and enjoy one of Mrs. Corner's cookies. Mmm great stuff. You might want to try Huglas Douglas. I'm going to try one of Mrs. Corna's cookies. Yum. Mm. Dear Central Denison, I want to thank you for learning, laughing, reading, and sharing your time with me for the past years. You've taught me so much. It's been a privilege and a joy to work with you. And I want you to know, I'll love you till the cows come home.